Okay, so the long-awaited update for TSB finally dropped and it's insane. So immediately I knew exactly what I was interested in. You can have your own opinion, but I have always loved the 2020 dropkick and I've been wanting to look at this thing. In order to do that though, I needed to enlist some help. Meet my friend, Oscar. He was very helpful throughout this and honestly made it much more enjoyable for me to do all my silly measurements and calculations. I appreciate him for putting up with me. Now, off the bat, I had a look at the move from an outside perspective since doing it myself would make it almost impossible to properly dictate the distances and speeds at which my character was moving. But looking at him, I decided that I would break the move into the following segments. Firstly, there's the initial impulse where you kick the enemy. Then there's an initial teleport. Yes, teleport again. Frame analysis has shown me that within one frame you move from this spot here to this spot here, which turned out to be approximately 121.82 studs away, which is 34.11 meters. Now, I'm going to use 0.5c as my speed again, meaning half the speed of light, and that means that I can calculate my Lorentz factor at 1.414, and then I can calculate my relativistic kinetic energy at 2.8 by 10 to the 18. Side note, my definition of teleportation here is just moving really fast, so much so that it looks like you teleport from point to point, but really you're just moving at a significant fraction of the speed of light. Next, I call this small section the first segment, which turned out to be about 54.3 studs long, which is 15.2 meters, traveled in approximately 89 frames, and that makes the speed of the character 10.25 meters per second. Kinetic energy is half times mass times velocity squared, so we'll get 3,937.6 joules. Next, the second segment is about 42 studs, which is 11.77 meters in 47 frames. That gives a speed of 15 meters per second and a kinetic energy of 8,466.25 joules. You see how it's increasing with each segment? That's pretty cool, right? Then the third segment, it turns out it was about 99 studs, which is 27.72 meters in 74 frames. Then that gives a speed of 22.5 meters per second and a kinetic energy of 18,943.4 joules. It's really increasing at a fast rate, which makes sense given that the next segment is as follows. The final segment is technically 108 studs, which is 30.24 meters traveled in 17 frames. However, I can't use these values to estimate the kinetic energy since right here, you observe some flickering of the character. And also, a sonic shockwave is produced here, meaning that we are at least traveling at Mark 1. Possibly some multiples of it that aren't too crazy. If I call it Mark 1, the kinetic energy comes out to 4,411,837.5 joules. So, in terms of the movement, unfortunately the majority of the segments can't add much onto the ridiculous value of 2.8 by 10 to the 18 joules for that initial teleport. How about our impulses though? Well firstly, the first kick is a little unimpressive, but that final kick literally shatters your opponent and sends them flying. For the initial impulse on the kick, we obviously need to know the change in velocity and the change in time. To get the change in velocity, we can observe that the dummy initially moves about 30.24 meters in 140 frames. Though, yes, there is friction and damping, but as I mentioned in this clip here... He stumbles about three times. Yeah, so I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna uh, make friction, friction negligible because I don't really want to deal with um, that. Very accurate, bro. With damping. No, I don't want to deal with damping. I'm not too interested in dealing with that. So, distance over time is 12.96 meters per second. My friend Oscar's leg was in contact with the dummy for about 9 frames. So we get 75 times 12.96 divided by 9 over 60, which gives us 6,480 joules since I just assume it's applied over about a meter. Now, for the final impulse, we do something similar. Only this time, we know that the change in velocity of the dummy was closer to around the 615 meter per second mark. I got this by checking exactly how fast the dummy's health plate seems to fly toward its landing position though the body parts do lag behind. This would give a rough joule value of 307,500 joules. This value though could tend towards infinity depending on the distance that this force supposedly propagates. Also, given that the dummy literally got dismantled and that it requires thousands of joules of energy to tear the limbs off someone, there's likely more at play here. But isn't that all well and good to know? I wouldn't want to be 202020 drop kicked, would you?